Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle and this is Elle's Reptiles. This week we're doing a video that I'm kind of excited about because I don't do many crocodile skink videos and that's what we're doing today. Today we are going to talk about 10 things that you should know before you get your red-eyed crocodile skink. So hopefully if you are looking into getting a crocodile skink, this might help you out. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by you guys. <laughs> the sponsor of this video is our Etsy shop, which is fully supported by you guys, which is so amazing. And that support helps our channel. So make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out how you can help support us by supporting yourself. Let's get started. The first one and the one that I was actually specifically asked to talk about on the YouTube community tab poll that I did was all about whether it is captive bred or wild caught. I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to know this information. Captive bread is going to initially look like it's more expensive, but with a wild caught animal, you're going to have to take it to the vet. You're going to have to get it treated. You're going to have to get it medication. It's going to become more expensive and more stressful than that captive bred animal was. Make sure you are checking that you are getting a captive bred crocodile skink if you are getting one. As for where to get captive bred crocodile skinks, this one's a little bit difficult. If you're in the United States, Josh's Frogs has captive bred. Josh's Frogs is always my go-to because they captive bred everything that they sell and everything that I've got from them has been very healthy. So it's always a safe bet. Just a quick Google search brought me to CB Reptile. I have never ordered from them. I don't know if it's a good or bad place to order. What are your experiences? Leave that down in the comments below. You can also try just checking Facebook groups. Look for a captive bred crocodile skink Facebook groups near you, or maybe there's reptile selling, reptile rehoming, Facebook groups that you can find near you. There are also a couple of captive bred crocodile skinks at any one time on Morph Market. There's usually only two or three there listed, so keep that in mind. The Gekopia is a, another breeder. Again, I have no personal experience with them, but they are another crocodile skink breeder here in the United States. There are a few options out there that is going to be a little bit difficult to find, but if you can find captive bred crocodile skinks. It is so much better to go with that route as opposed to wild caught. They just do better. It is very important to know that these guys are shy and that they do tend to hide a lot. This is not going to be a cuddly lizard that wants to hang out with you all the time. This is not going to be like a bearded dragon. This is another thing where if you get a wild caught crocodile skink, it's going to be a lot more shy and it's going to hide a lot more than a captive bred crocodile skink. The captive bred ones, like I said before, just do a lot better in captive captivity. They are born to captivity. They are used to being in captivity. They are used to being around people. Most crocodile skinks are going to be shy in general, but if you look at my crocodile skink, a wild caught crocodile skink, and then you look at Reptiliitis's YouTube channel, his crocodile skink is very active. It comes out to eat. It eats from tongs. There is a world of a difference there, but I just thought that I'd add this to the list too, because this is something that you should know. It's not going to be like a bearded dragon where bearded dragons come out and they're out all day for the world to see. Crocodile skink is going to be a more shy lizard. Next up, we have the baby to adult color change. So if you are getting a baby crocodile skink, they're going to look a little bit different than an adult. Baby crocodile skinks don't have that red eye and their heads look very light brown. And then they kind of go into that really dark black body. As they get older, their heads will start to darken up too. And then they form that orange eye as they mature. It is by no means an absolutely insane color change, but it is just one to be aware of if you're not, because if you're getting a baby and you receive it and it doesn't have that red eye, it's, it's going to be very jarring and pretty concerning. So I just thought that I would throw this into the list as well. Next up, these guys love to swim. So when I very first got my red-eyed crocodile skink, we gave her this plastic paint roller thing that we put water in. That way she had a large amount of water and she spent almost all of her time in there. If you can, make sure to give your crocodile skink a big area of water because they do like to swim. Make sure that they are able to easily get in and out of that water. We don't want to risk them drowning. They can drown, but if you give them a large water dish, with an area to get in and out of, they are going to be very happy with that and it's going to help their humidity. And that leads us to the next one is humidity requirements. These guys need a lot of humidity. They like 
moisture. They are happy in moisture. Now this does not mean that the ground should be mud at all times, but having lots of plants, live plants, a big water dish spraying down that tank is going to keep that crocodile skink very happy. Ever since we made my crocodile skinks tank, <laughs> it has overgrown. It is a forest now, but that's how she likes it. This is the first time we will walk past her tank and she is just running and we can hear all the leaves and stuff as she just runs around. But that means that she's actually out and she's moving around. This is the first time she's ever been in a glass tank and enjoyed being out. That's super cool. So keeping that humidity up is going to be fantastic. If you can keep that humidity up with live plants, a whole bunch of live plants that provide a whole bunch of hiding area and cover, your crocodile skink is going to be very happy. But along with that high humidity, they also like pretty low temperatures. Their hot spot shouldn't be above about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Having a low temperature and a high humidity could be disastrous to your animal. Low temperatures, high humidity is how mold and things like that grow. So I highly, highly, highly advise if you're going to go with a crocodile skink, go bioactive, go with a cleanup crew that's going to help clean up that mold. Make sure that you are constantly checking on that tank and making sure that there's no mold or mildew growth or anything in there that is going to make the animal sick. Make sure that the ground isn't turning to mud because not having a high temperature means it's going to be a little bit harder for the moisture to evaporate out of that soil. They're not the easiest pet the easiest environment to maintain if you are just now getting into reptiles. I always say just now like you're late to the party. So I feel like I'm phrasing that weird. I just mean like if you are just now getting into reptiles. If that makes sense. These guys are strictly insectivores. They are only going to eat insects. Giving them a wide variety of different insects is very important to make sure that they are getting the max amount of nutrition in their diet. But they're going to eat things like doobie roaches and mealworms, waxworms, crickets, black soldier fly larvae. My crocodile skink, black soldier fly larvae are one of her favorite foods. Just give them a large variety of feeder bugs and make sure that they are gut loaded. Make sure that you are feeding your feeders a very nutritious diet before you are giving them to your crocodile skink. And make sure that you are dusting them with a calcium supplement and a vitamin supplement. We want our crocodile skinks to be as healthy as they possibly can be. The next one is pretty important if you are reaching in to grab your crocodile skink for the first time and that is that these guys can vocalize. They are one of the only non-gecko reptile species in the world that can actually vocalize. They bark. They make this weird barking noise when they are stressed out. It is a very adorable noise but it also is a noise that means that they are stressed out and that they don't like what is happening. So keep that in mind. If you have a baby or an adult that doesn't like handling anything like that, you might hear it bark at you if you go to touch it. Along those same lines, they also tend to play dead. This behavior usually stops once they become adults, but as babies and juveniles, crocodile skinks will play dead if they are very stressed out. You go to pick them up, they bark at you, it doesn't work they will completely stop moving. And they are so good at playing dead that their breathing even slows down. Everything that they are doing comes to a halt and that it just stops. Their breathing slows down to almost an undetectable rhythm. And obviously in the wild, this is so that the predator that is trying to get them either no longer sees them or thinks that they're dead and just carries on. This is a very important defense mechanism for them, but it does mean that they are very, very stressed out. And the last one is that you can actually cohab crocodile skinks. A male and female pair of crocodile skinks can be cohabbed in the same tank. Female, female pairs tend to fight. Male, male pairs will fight. But male, female pairs of crocodile skinks can be safely cohabbed. Just keep in mind though, it's a male and a female. You will probably get a baby crocodile skink if all the conditions are correct in that tank. The thing with crocodile skinks is they usually only produce one egg at a time. The parents will actually have that baby and that baby will continue to hang out with its parents. Cutest thing in the entire world. But that is it. That is all I have for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully you learned something that you didn't know before you get your first crocodile skink. If you do have a crocodile skink already, what is one thing that surprised you about yours? As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by you guys. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that about a year ago now, me and Den made an Etsy shop where we sell reptile things. We have mushroom ledges and feeding ledges and tank boots to lift your tank up if you're trying to get a heat pad under it, stickers, shirts, coffee mugs. We have a bunch of cool stuff. If you're trying to get reptile related things, we have them. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our shop here and get something for yourself or for your reptile. And also thank you so 
so, so much to all the people that have already been buying from us. Thank you. You are absolutely amazing. You have made our pet store dream come true. It's not a physical pet store, but it's online. That's close enough. You've made that dream come true. Thank you so much. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is here, and this week's subscriber shout out is here. Thank you guys both so much for liking and commenting and following and subscribing and sharing sharing and all of that jazz you are the bees knees thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a fantastic day bye i'm l and this is l's reptiles this week we're doing and to hide a lot don't it's very it's i it is absolutely captive bred crocodile skinks it is so much it's more expensive it is so much more it is so much better eye, it's going to be very jarring and very it's going so their breathing slows down to an almost undetectable um, cadence.